baby. Hit it. Welcome to a new video. Right, bit of a random time to start this week's video, but it's Thursday. I'm on the way to pick my child up from school. Oh, my heartburn. <coughs> Jesus Christ! <coughs> oh, I got a bird! I'm crying. Jesus, that was horrible. It felt like I had fireballs trying to escape out of my throat. Yeah, the reason why I'm starting this video on a Thursday is because next Thursday, it's looking like it's gonna be a bit of a mental week. So I thought I'll start it on a Thursday, end it on a Thursday. The last video I put up ended at the Eurovision. Stars. Oh God, it just goes to show how much of a joke the UK is when it comes to the Eurovision Song Contest. But anyway, it's Friday morning. I'm on the way to work. It's the royal wedding tomorrow. Am I the only person in the UK that just doesn't care? I mean, there's like tribes in the depth of Tanzania with like royal wedding teapots. What's all that about? No one cares. It's just a wedding. Is the dad gonna be there? Is he not? Oh, he's had a heart attack. Oh no, he's coming. No, he's not. Oh, who's gonna walk her down the aisle? Oh, his mum's coming. Who cares? Anyway, sorry for that little outburst on this beautiful Friday morning. I just can't be bothered today. See you later. Right, it is, it's Friday night. The working day is complete. Me and Christina have decided to go and have a little drink. <laughs> Why? That's the fridge, nothing in it. We've got no food. It's Friday night, it's a sunny day out. I've got a busy day lined up tomorrow, so can't go too mental. I'll see you, no doubt. In the pub. What are you eating? Oh no. Right, right. It's about 8 p.m. on Saturday night and me and Christina are gonna sit down and watch a Netflix series. What's it called? Evil Genius. Evil Genius, oh my God. If you like crime dramas, like making a murder or that kind of thing, Evil Genius has just come out. I think it's just come out on Netflix. It's so good. The Royal Wedding. <laughs> Quick flashback. No one cares. It's just a wedding. I was horrible. I watched a little bit of it. I started tearing up. <laughs> I was mugging everyone off that was all wrapped up in the royal wedding saga. I was crying over it. You would cry because you're an emotional lunatic. I'm like, look at her white dress. Her train's 15 foot long. Oh, what a mug. Right, my food's going cold. I will see you in the morning. Goodbye. It's Sunday afternoon. We're currently in Eminence. <laughs> Been in a minute. We've bought three days worth of healthy food. We have out on Thursday, as you know. <laughs> Let's get into this pile and dine club, friend. Good morning. It is Monday. I hate Mondays. They're horrible. Anyway, we've obviously been eating like absolute beasts recently. It's really bad. We have agreed. There's all this traffic. We have agreed to be good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. I've got my lunch with me. I am not sleeping very well at the moment. Woke up this morning at about five o'clock, couldn't get back to sleep. Feeling a little bit It should be a quite quite a good week this week. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it is gonna be a good week this week. Let's be a little bit more positive about this day, shall we? Ah, oh, start the week off negative. The whole week's gonna be negative. That is not what I want, so let's be positive. I'm gonna drive to, all the way to work smiling. You reckon of that thunderstorm then? Bye. It's dinner time. What are we having? Maggie chicken and potatoes. Here we go. Healthy dinner. It is Tuesday morning. Christina's got the ump, being all negative. Said to her, you need to be more positive. Shut up! You need to be more positive. She's like moaning, oh, I'm tired. Oh. Food wise, we're being pretty healthy, as you saw last night. How hard is it to try and be good? It's just impossible. I will see you after work. Done. It's our friend Nadia's birthday. So we were going to stay in, as you know. Turns out that we're going to hop out. So basically, that's it. Here with a birthday girl. You've ruined our diet. My love, it's one day, one day you'll be fine. And besides, mushrooms are good for you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it was actually Dave's. It's not really breaking your 
Is it I've not been dieting really. <laughs> Dad, they didn't hear you in Penge. Can you... <laughs> I've never heard someone laugh so loudly in my life. Jamie, I'm insulted. I'm offended. You offended me on my birthday. Are Why you happy with that? <laughs> I don't know this lady. Are you embarrassed? Have you drank my Stella? When? When? Is that... What are you talking about? Are you... <laughs> Night. Food ready. We have got salmon and chips. Tomorrow is what? I thought something serious had occurred. You've got two forks. Will I bring you a knife? Tomorrow is Thursday, and we have the event that we are going to, which you will find out about tomorrow. However, we've got a lot to do before then. So much to do. I will see you in the morning. Thursday. Today is the day. It's about half nine. Christina is getting ready. We've got to go to the sorting office. We've got to go there. She's got to get a photo done for her passport because her hair was too big in the previous photo. Go to Bromley, buy a new suit for tonight. Christina's got to get some bits, get some makeup. I've got to buy a belt. We've got to go. We'll go to the post office to send off her passport because we're going to Scotland next month and she hasn't even got a valid passport. So basically, a couple of the things we've got, we've got to get back here by about 12, 1 o'clock at the latest, have some lunch and then get on a train. Get on a train, that's basically it. So we've got a really busy day lined up. So I'll see you in the car. Here she comes back from her getting her photos done. She's not going to be happy at all. What's wrong with it then? It's all blended in properly, it's showing up too much. <laughs> Later we go. <coughs> what the hell was that? I fell asleep. Oh my god. Our Bromley trip has come to an end. That was the most stressful experience of my life. Yeah. You look like you're about to kick a kid in the head at one stage. I nearly did. We've got hours now, we're not leaving for three hours. Still got... Hey, yeah, leave it. <laughs> for God's sake! <laughs> we're en route to London. We're already running late. Uh, we've got hours, we've got, oh, we've got five minutes. Quick! Okay. We're running late and she's going inside to check that she's turned the hob off. Yeah. If we missed the train by one minute now, you're dead. <laughs> So, that was the most eventful hour and 45 minutes of our life. Basically, the long and short of it, we got to Marleybone, we were mega early, decided it would be a good idea to get an Uber, and then after we got into the Uber, it added another 25 minutes onto our journey because of the traffic. So we told him to turn around, and we almost missed our train. And then we got to the hotel, which we paid for, or I thought we paid for at least, no record of the booking, the man almost didn't, like, he almost told us where to go. Eventually, some eventually he was like, I'm sorry, I'll give you a room anyway, I'll get you a room, need some ID. But because, obviously, we thought we'd pay for it, we didn't bother bringing any ID. So we almost didn't get in this hotel room. We're in the basement, there's a fake window, in case you couldn't tell. It's Thursday night. I've been banging on about this event all week. What's happening is... We've managed to get our hands on some tickets for a film premiere. There is a film coming out called The Bromley Boys. It stars the likes of Alan Davis, Marty McCutcheon, Jamie Foreman. There's a couple of other stars, and we've managed to get we've managed to get tickets. We get to walk up the red carpet as so well. It's the green carpet. But it's a green carpet because it's a, fo a film about f football, Bromley FC. And then. After the film, we get to go into a private bar with the stars of the film. Mental. We've got half an hour to get ready. Right, we're late. See you later. Bye! <laughs> it's 1am. We're off our nuts. We're back from the premiere. Christina didn't like the film. I liked it. I thought it was really good. Is that what you thought of the film then? Dirty little animal over there. We met a couple of famouses. Martine McCutcheon, Christina was talking to her about hair. Christina had a picture done with Jamie Foreman. Here's the picture. Randomly, Fats and Small, blast from the past, who's dating Vanessa Feltz. <laughs> Christina got a picture with her. Here's the picture. Right, basically, long and short of it, it was a good night. We really enjoyed it. Christina didn't like the film, I did. We've now got loads and loads of Domino's pizza. Right, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll see you later, goodbye.